want you to walk with me on a seven step journey. Prepare your mind. And before we begin, I want you to shed whatever has happened thus far. I want you to relax. And I want you to think about ascending. Now let us ascend to phase one. Uh, phase one is when you account for your perception. You are God being. You are God. Your perception has always been yours and everything that has ever occurred in your life is 100% your responsibility to own. No matter what has ever happened to you, it has been good. No matter how good things have happened to you, they will get better. Every molestation, every act of violence, every act of kindness has been controlled by your unlimited perception. In phase one, we recognize that our perception is unlimited because God's perception is unlimited and you are God. Now your perception is yours and no matter how good someone has been to you, no matter how good someone has influenced your perception, your perception is yours. No longer will you be guided by the thoughts of this world. No longer will you be victim to this negative self-talk because your self-talk is perception. And if you make it negative, you have a negative perception. Can you see yourself looking at you right now, accounting for how great you are? Can you see yourself recognizing that life happens for you and not to you? Can you see yourself? In this phase, we recognize that God has never looked at God's self and been disappointed. God has never looked in God's mirror and thought that God's face was too round. Waste was too big. Every single time God looks at you, God is well pleased. Your perception is yours. It is unlimited because you are unlimited. And up until now, you have given free reign for people to influence your perception. In phase one, we release these people gently. There is no reason to be upset. As a matter of fact, right now, unlimited bliss is finding you like it always has. Account for your perception. Make your perception your own. And relax in your perception. Because no matter how far you think you are behind, which is perception, you are not. When the winds of this life have blown you, your perception may have seen being blown, 
but God was blowing you in the direction in which you needed to be. Your perception gets angry at closed doors, but it was those closed doors that led you to the open one that changed your life. See yourself opening the door of your breakthrough. Ascend with me into phase two. Phase two is unlimited self-love. This is where you identify, protect, and empower yourself. The greatest force on this planet is love. Love shapes all light. You are light, but how you shine in this world is shaped through love. Up until now, maybe you haven't loved yourself the way you should. But that's no longer your problem because you have unlimited perception. So what you did a few minutes ago does not exist now. The pain you may have caused yourself yesterday does not exist now. Now that you have the ability to control your perception, to recognize who you are, who you've always been, now it's time to unlimitedly love yourself. I want you to imagine standing right around you, all the people in your life who love you the most. See their faces. See their nose. Use your mind to get a clear picture of their face. If it's more than one, see every person. Now allow them to smile at you. Can you see their faces? Now assign these people with a color. Make sure that color feels good to you. Assign the color of the most powerful love that you know from people who love you most. Does your color feel good? Now, I want you to light that color on fire, but the fire would not consume the color. The fire and the color are just brilliant. Now surround these people who love you with the proper color that you just picked. All around them and then push that color towards you to the center of your heart. Now don't disconnect their color, their fire, and your heart. You should see a continuous beam of perfect color energy from them to your heart. Now, circle in a vortex like a tornado from your heart to the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, their color. This tornado is gentle. There's no harm being done to you. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet, you have a perfect vortex of the people who love you, surrounding you at all times, their love keeps your overflow protected. Their love bounces bullets like you are Superman. It is because their love that when you cannot find strength, 
you can find it in them. Can you feel their love? Keep that vortex spinning. Keep that connection from your heart to them. Keep their color. Remember their color. Now look at yourself. No matter how you feel about yourself, nobody has ever loved you greater than you. You are the only person on planet Earth that has never left you. You're the only person that knows every dream you've ever dreamt. Every time you were sick, you were with you. Every time you cried, you were with you. You're the only person that ever understood everything you said when you were ununderstandable. Every time you did something you were not supposed to do, you were there. Every time you've ever smiled, you were there. Genuinely, the only person that has been with you always has been you. Now, if that's not love, I don't know what is. Assign yourself a color. Allow the color to be different than the color of the people who love you most. And know that no matter how much they love you, they can never love you like you love yourself. Can you see your color? Now your color needs to feel real good to you. Because every time you have a distorted day, you need to remember your color. Every time the rains of this world darken your reality, use your color to see through the dark. Can you see your color? Now light that color on fire. Start at your heart. Spin that color like another tornado inside the tornado. That was already there for the people who love you most. From the sole of your feet, go up slowly. Because you always take time with yourself. You're at your shins. You're at your knees. Don't rush. Because all the years of your life, you've been with you and you did not rush. You're at your thighs and your hips to your belly button, all the way to your chest. As you get to your neck, you feel ultimate relaxation. The coolness of winning. The fire of ambition. Now go to the top of your head and as that vortex spins inside of another vortex, you are twice protected. You've controlled your perception. And now you understand that no matter how much they love you, and they do, no matter how much they protect you and they do, no love could ever be greater than your love for yourself. Can you feel you loving you genuinely, perception cleanly for the first time in your life? No weapon formed against you could possibly prevail. Now you have two vortexes, two different colors protecting you all the days of your life. And as you walk through what they call the shadow of the, the valley of the shadow of death, your love will light your path. Now, I want you to think of the highest love there is. Higher than your family, friends, 
higher than yourself. Whatever that love looks like, I want you to imagine that love. Then when you can't go no further, I want you to go higher than that and find that love. Push yourself. I know you can't go further, but do it again and go further. Pretend you just learned about new realms and dimensions and go further. And when you can't go no more, there you find God. Now, I want you to assign God's love a color. Stretch that color across the galaxies and beam it all the way to your heart. Can you see the color of God? Now, light that color on fire. And all the way from wherever you have God, all the way to you who is God, make the most brilliant tornado on the planet. Stretch across realms, distance, and time. And on the very most inner part of the two vortexes, inside both, you put God's love from the sole of your feet all the way to the crown of your head. Can you see God's color? Can you see your color? Can you see the people who love you most color? Pause and increase in value how much love you have flowing around you. Wherever there is love, there is change. You cannot have sickness in your body full of love. You love yourself enough, weight will fall off you. Illness will flee from you. All that love, because you are all that God, ascend with me to the third phase. You've controlled your perception. That's why you're able to love yourself so much. You've controlled your love, your perception unlimited, your love unlimited. And since you have a clear view of how much God you are on this planet, and since nobody can love more than you and is loved more than you, it's time to forgive. Phase three is unlimited forgiveness. This is where you literally embody the forgiveness of God. They've never done anything to you. They've done it to themselves. This is where you crucify your ego so your ego does not crucify you. This is where you have the will of a warrior but the heart of a child. This is where you forgive. Latin word means to release, let go. I want you to imagine the person or people who have done the most damage to you. Go ahead. Some of you may be married to them. Some of you may have come from their womb. I want you to see these people or person as clear as possible. I want you to look at them every freckle on their face. 
the goatee to their makeup. Now, I want you to think about the one person you are not supposed to correct. That person could be an organization. Maybe you're not supposed to correct your fraternity, your sorority, your church, your mosque. Whatever you cannot correct controls you. Put them in there too. Now, I tell you a story about a Tibetan monastery. They were getting ready to be ransacked, pillaged by Vikings. They had a golden statue and they wanted to protect it so they covered it with mud and they made sure that it looked like stone clay and sure enough when the enemy came they viewed the statue as worthless ransacked everything took all the gold out the temple all the crop from the land Generations later, these monks were dead and a young monk was meditating under the statue, the stone statue. And a dove fell on the statue, landed on the statue and knocked a piece of the petrified mud off. And right there saw on the shoulder of the statue that it was gold. That's you. You are 100% pure gold covered by the mud of their perception of you. The mud of their love of you and the mud of what they've done to you. Now I want you to imagine yourself as the most purest gold being on the planet. And imagine yourself being stuck for years in one place. And every piece of mud on top of your gold is what you have not let go of what other people have done to you. Some mud represents arguments, other mud represents molestation, and other mud represents whatever you needed to represent. Be honest with the mud of surrounding you because that mud is stopping the light of your gold. Now imagine a perfect dove descending upon your shoulder and knocking off a piece of that mud. And now that you are aware that you are gold, look at your shoulder. See the dove? and see how much of that mud has been knocked off. Can you see your gold? If you can't see it, don't move until you can see it. Now with the light that's in you, since you control your perception and since you love yourself enough from the inside out, you crack that mud, flex your muscles. Hold the power position until the mud starts cracking. You are not offended that this mud is cracking because gravity will take it down. You need no effort. Gravity will do its job and mud is falling from your head to the rest of your shoulder. See all the mud fall. Look how golden you are. Can you see yourself with your new perception? Let all the mud fall. All the mud now is at the bottom of your feet. You're getting ready to walk away from this mud and you will never see this mud again. Get ready 
You are a giant statue. You only need 10 steps to never see this mud again. With your left foot, take one giant step. Right foot, that's the second one. Three and four. Now take a fifth step. Now look back at the mud you just walked away from because you'll never look back again. So get it out your system. Can you see the mud? That's everything they've ever done to you. And it's on the ground away from you where it should be. You're getting ready to turn around and never turn around again. Look at the mud. You're no longer angry at this mud because you do not have to be angry to move forward. Look at the mud. Since you control your perception, you are now grateful for the mud. The mud made you who you are. The mud reminded you how golden you are. Without the mud, you wouldn't even appreciate being golden right now. Look at it one last time. Now look at it with gratitude. Now turn around because you are a God. Step six, away from the mud. Step seven, away from the mud. Eight and nine. Now take your 10th step to the God that you are. Now take a deep breath. Feel better. Oh, there's no reason to be heavy. <laughs> you left that mud way behind you. It is forgiveness that stops the wheel of karma. And since you now have forgiven them, it is time to forgive yourself. You are not behind. You are not weak. That's a perception issue. You don't have that problem. You are free. Ascend with me to the fourth phase. You've controlled your perception. Oh, you're doing a good job. You have unlimited love. You have unlimited forgiveness. Now you find yourself with unlimited power. Can you feel it? Can you feel that the same power God has you have flowing through you? The same power your ancestors have you have flowing through you. As a matter of fact, when you walk into another room, you walk with all your ancestors. Can you feel your power? God is not weak and wimpy and neither are you. And if you are all knowing, if you control your perception, if you are all loving and all forgiving, you are also all powerful. You are omnipotent. Feel your power. Now, since your perception is clean, clear, your power is used like God's. You use power to influence, not power over. You are strength armed with strength. You are force unlimited. 
And every time you move, the forces against you flee. Can you see it? Can you feel it? This is where you fully find all the power in this world. Ascending with me to phase five. Imagine that you don't know everything. Now also imagine that you do know everything. This is where we get unlimited awareness. And phase five, you recognize that there are forces that you weren't taught. Good religions that you were taught to be separated from. You recognize that there are people who heal with meditation. That medicine is not the only thing that works. You recognize that you have a self-healing body. That you can lose the weight. And in the same manner your ancestors lived, so do you. This is where we become infinitely aware of every single thing around us. This is where we recognize that all things are good and every energy doesn't need our attention. Can you see it? In phase five, you become infinitely aware that you don't know everything but source in you knows all things. It's why you can't figure out why you're doing what you're doing, but you know it's the right thing, so you still do it. It's the reason why you could not find your car keys at one time. And when you finally found them, it was a car accident that you should have been in. It's the reason why you knew you loved your child the first time you saw them. It's the reason why on the worst day of your life, which has happened multiple times, you didn't go with that day. In phase five, you become infinitely aware of all the opportunities. You recognize that your idea is not the best, there is a better idea. You recognize that where you are going is equally as good as where you have been. So where you're going just serves you more. You recognize that everything you've been through has gotten you into this place. You are infinitely aware. You are all powerful. You are all knowing. You are all forgiving. And your perception is that of God. Ascend with me to phase six. Now that you controlled your perception, control your love, You've accounted for your unlimited forgiveness. You've accounted for your infinite awareness and your infinite power. Now you're ready for the battle you've been avoiding. You are strong enough to go into the cave in which you were afraid to enter. The treasure will be yours today. You're turning your yearly goals into daily goals. This is the battle. Phase six is what we call infinite battle. 
This is where you face those hardest things and you face them like God. God does not stress out. Neither do you. God does not become victim of circumstances. Neither do you. See yourself walk into a room and the room is against you. But your ancestors walked in with you. See that you did not know what to say, but all of a sudden you say exactly what was needed. And see the battle that was supposed to take you out, you defeat it. In this phase, my friends, you, you figure out that there will be hard times, but they're no longer hard for you. That you will hit something and you don't know how to get out of it, but you will. You would need money you've never made before and you'll get it. You will need a level of forgiveness that is unfair to you, but you'll do it. And your situation will command a you that you've never been. You have no example. Your parents have not been it. Your friends have not been it, but you will become it. Well, the trail ends your blaze one. The battle is yours and the battle is already won. In this phase, your only job is to recognize you did not come here to lose. You did not come here to lose. You cannot lose. God does not lose. In this phase, power is not even needed. There's nothing you have to do because anything you're going to do is already done, already won, already yours, except that you are a battle beater. Ascending with me to the last phase. Infinite ascension. You see, you got your infinite perception. You don't let their thoughts be your thoughts no more. You've got your infinite self-love. Their validation is no longer needed. You can validate yourself. You've got your infinite forgiveness. You're already forgiving people for doing stuff they haven't even done yet. You've got your infinite awareness. Oh, you see all things. And even when you don't know, wait a few seconds, it'll be there. You have your infinite power. You walk into rooms and rooms bend at your will. Time crunches at your desire. Goals are no longer goals. They're stepping stones. You have your infinite battle in which you've already won. In which you are both warrior and child. The only last thing you can do is to keep expanding in the manner in which this universe expands. God has not stopped growing. Source has not stopped manifesting human experiences. Ancestors have stopped, they have not stopped ancestoring. Their energy has not been destroyed. So in phase seven, you infinitely expand to all things. 
you never stop growing. You never stop meditating. You never stop getting smarter. You never stop getting kinder. You never stop getting stronger. Your journey is complete. It was never about the answers. It was always the joy of the questions. Before we exit, accept the feeling of completeness right now. Now I want you to remember how you feel. I want you to assign this feeling a frequency. Whatever number makes sense to you, hold this feeling because you are at your most powerful. You are God of gods, Lord of lords. You are of the same substance of your ancestors, the same substance of God. Whatever this feels like, put a number on it. The number could be one number, it could be complex number, or maybe you know all the numbers of pi. Can you see your number? Now make that number dance. Whatever dance you know, make it do that. Can you see your number dancing? Now, make that number go on some position of your body. For me, my number's on my right shoulder. Always whispering in my ear while doing the stanky leg. Make your dance as silly as possible because you're going to need it. Because when the world gets treacherous, and it will, you will need to tap into this vibration. It's why you assign that vibration a number. It's why you place it on a location of your body in which only you know. It is why it's dancing because your mind needs action to remember things. It needs a location to pull the memory from. And it needs an image to recall. You pick the number because it's the visual image of the frequency. The number is dancing because it is the glue that lets you not forget. And the number is on the location of your body. So you can always find it. It's the only three things you need to remember something. Can you see your number? Can you see it dancing? And do you know what that number is on your body? Well, now that you know, that number is the numerical vibrational equivalency of what you feel right now. And if you walk into the world with this feeling, you are unstoppable. And the next time something stops you, don't stress, look at your number. And you stare at your number into your mind until this feeling comes back and go back into being unstoppable. Remember this feeling, because God feels like this. At the count of five, You will open your eyes as God on earth. As ancestors unbounded. Source unlimited. One. You are getting ready. To never have to get ready again. Two. You are the most. Forgiving person on the planet. Three, you only give your energy to that which serves you. 
four. Everything you don't know, you have access to. And every battle you will wage has already been declared a victory. Five, open your eyes. This time you see as God. And you can choose to remain in this state or you can choose to remain in this state. But you will remain in this state.